Hi, it's Timo. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Central. I hope you're all doing well. I've been away from the channel for the past 72 hours or so. And within that time, it's been quite a crazy time for Norwich. Of course, losing to Leicester was disappointing. And it's been quite a successful transfer window for Norwich City at the moment. But we needed to sign a central defensive midfielder and we needed to sign a centre-back. And Stuart Webber, the sporting director at Norwich City, have delivered. Norwich City have signed Ozan Kabak. And I feel like I keep saying it again and again, but this is probably the best signing out of the lot. And Stuart Webber has just done an absolutely incredible job. Of course, these are the players we've signed on the screen there, forgetting Brandon Williams. But um, yeah, brilliant, brilliant signings. Of course, there's four loan deals there. Uh, Dimitri Junius and Ben Gibson we signed going into the season and five really good deals. Um, of course, losing Buendia was difficult and we haven't got that outstanding Norwich City player. But for me, as a squad, this is probably the best squad I've seen Norwich City produce in my lifetime. And Stuart Webber has just pulled it out of the bag. We've got the guns, we've got the we've got the tanks, we've got the ammunition now to have a really, really good season. I'm just over the moon. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below as Norris City signed Ozan Kabak. Fun fact for you, he's Norris City's first palindrome uh, player in, in 84 years, which is always fun. Um, and yeah, just absolutely over the moon with this one. I think from a Norris City perspective, going in going into the season, Ben Gibson and, and Grant Hanley were excellent in the championship in, in that, of course, that record-breaking season for Norwich, but they didn't have, weren't required in the championship to do a lot of defending. And OK, we've played Liverpool and Man City and Leicester through really difficult teams, but we've seen gaps there. We've seen holes. And Ozan Kabak, 21 years old, um, with a huge amount of pedigree um, in, in terms of playing European football at such a young age, um, someone who's you know, got so much potential to grow as a player as well. It's just a brilliant deal. Of course, this is a loan deal for Norwich with an option to buy, which will be around 10 or £11 million, pounds, which would potentially make him Norwich's record signing. But of course, that would probably depend on if Norwich stay up. But a bit about the player. 21 years old, signed from uh, uh, Sharkle. Sharkle. Um, and they're in a really weird situation. Of course, they were an established uh, Bundesliga club, but got relegated and in a huge amount of debt. Um, and Norwich City have had had fun, haven't they, signing a, a teams from Germany. We've also signed Rashita and um, Sargent from Werder Bremen, who also got relegated. Um, but he wasn't responsible for that relegation, of course. Um, he, he played you know, regular football in the Bundesliga at 19, 20 years old, which is incredible, really. You know, To do that at such a young age and produce consistent performances is great. And then um, Liverpool took him on loan. Of course, Liverpool had that massive injury crisis last season. And Norwich have had ridiculous injury crises in the past. But Van Dijk, Joe Gomez all had season-long injuries and they were really struggling for a centre-back option. So they decided to get Kabak on loan. And he played a decent portion of the season for them. Uh, 10, or, 10 or so Premier League games, including European football as well. Um, he had some amazing uh, performances in Europe. And on the most part in the Premier League, he was good. Of course, there might be a couple of errors here and there, but on the most part, he was really good. And Liverpool fans were very happy with him and, and wanted to sign him if it wasn't for them signing Canate. So he's a player who's loved by Liverpool fans and I'm sure he's going to be loved from a Norwich City perspective. Um, and yeah, of, of course, then goes back to his parent club and uh, clubs are interested in him, um, but he wants a Premier League move. And that that is that is now why why he's at Norwich because we are a Premier League team and yeah he's just got a strength from the team in so many areas of course he's still young and there might be a couple of mistakes here and there but in terms of him playing you know over 60 games in the Bundesliga at such a young age um, and is seen as you know one of Europe's you know young talents the same when Norwich City signed Christos Ulis the way the same when we signed Billy Gilmore we've signed quite a few players who um, are kind of young players who need developing and you know to have them on loan deals with the option to buy in Kabak's place is, is absolutely tremendous and you know we've signed some bit more experience as well of course there's a lot of young players but we've got a few experienced players as well for me this is without a doubt the best Norris City transfer window and uh yeah absolutely incredible really for the past few days I've been at Reading Festival so um yeah, I've kind of been in the dark a little bit and obviously I was disappointed to see Norris City lost the Leicester game, um, which you know, kind of had a look over and for the most part I thought Norris City played quite well. Um, but yeah, the transfer window, signing Norman, of course, that central defensive midfielder who hopefully will um, bring what Oliver skip gave to Norris, who's, who's doing great things at Tottenham already. Um, and then Ozan Kabak for me he goes straight into the first team, right sided centre back, 21 years old. Um, he definitely is going to push Grant Hanley and Ben Gibson, and that's what you want. Um, and he's not going to only push them. I'm sure he's going to come into the team now because he's someone who's has got 
so much quality for such a young age and um yeah I, I think he can only get better as a player in terms of his main strengths very good at one-to-one -one defending um very good on the ball which is of course really important when Norris City build from the back um intelligent as well on, on the pitch as well for such a young age the one thing maybe he um hasn't got quite in his game is that aerial duels he's six foot one so not necessarily the tallest centre back uh, and he occasionally uses some aerial duels but on the most part, he's he's the he's got the perfect build and the perfect signing from a Norris City perspective, and I'm just over the moon that 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 we've signed him back because he, from a Norris City perspective, we've seen us struggle recently um, in the Premier League but with defensive issues, and of course in the Premier League we haven't signed the right players. Two years ago, although we got promoted, we weren't, didn't have the financial capabilities to um, you know sign 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 these type of players. Um, and of course, we didn't want to lose kind of the gems in Emi Buendia and whatnot at the time. But for me, to continuously sign, you know, these centre backs who, okay, and it's, uh, you know, and what's great about it as well, you know, to to sign these centre backs on the on the on the loan to buy deal, it makes so much sense because obviously, if we get relegated, which we don't want obviously to happen, that would be gutting. Um, and I, I honestly don't think we will get relegated with a couple of these additions. Um, then you lose that, but with the obligation to buy. Um, it means that Norwich City, you know, it's just a sensible way to do deals with the loan to obligation to buy. I remember five, six years ago, of course, we signed Stephen Naismith and there was no uh, drop in wages and that, and that nearly financially crippled the club along with other signings as well. So Norwich City is in such a good position where we can make sensible transfer deals. Um, and I'm just absolutely over the moon with it because this obligation to buy, it's, uh, it means that, it, you know, if, if it does go wrong for Norwich, then it's not going to cost the club a huge amount. So... Yeah, absolutely over the moon with this one. I'm sure he's going to come straight into the Norris City starting eleven for Arsenal. I'm sure Norman's going to come in for Arsenal as well. And I will talk more about Norman in the NCC show. Tune in for that on Tuesday. Um, but yeah, absolutely over the moon with this deal. I don't really know um, <laughs> what more to say than, than, than Stuart Webber. It's, it's been a genius, this transfer window. Losing Emi Buendia was gutting at the start of the window. And it was sometimes hard to remain patient. But... I think Norwich City fans were right to criticise Stuart Webber two or three years ago and, and right to criticise the approach. But going into this Premier League season now, Daniel Farker's got everything he needs and it's it's going to be down to Farker, the players, to get us out of, um, you know, make us stay in the Premier League and then build from there. But with Stuart Webber at the club, we don't know how long he's going to be here, but with a confident helm and stability, Norwich City got a brilliant chance of, of staying up. And that's what Norwich City's built on at the moment. Stability, um, sporting integrity, integrity on and off the pitch. And I'm sure Quebec is going to really help us improve as a team. And yeah, I'm absolutely over the moon with this deal. Um, if Liverpool fans like him, then I'm sure he's going to fit into our defence and do really well. And he's only going to get better. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. It's Norris City saying Ozan Quebec, um, Turkish centre-back, 21 years old. A fantastic bit of business from Norwich. And um, yeah, I'm absolutely over the moon. Thank you for watching. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the transfer window as a whole. For me... 9.5 out of 10. It's been absolutely terrific. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.